Guess how many gallons? Five. We had to pump out and bucket out of the driveway and backyard so that there was no flooding. This is based on loading a trash can that holds 36 gallons of water. 37 gallons. 1,000. 1,000 what? Gallons. Crores? Whoa! Gallons! That's a lot of crores. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. See, I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon. Follow us to come subscribe and the like button. You almost flooded? Oh, wow. Yeah. Second time this winter that, that have had to bucket out that much water from the area. Damn. Yeah. It was approximately, a, no, no exaggeration, approximately a thousand gallons. Today, have I said everything already? Uh, welcome to you our did. stupid reactions. Yeah, you did. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, algorithms. The alg helps, algorithms helps uh, for all that kind of stuff. Today yeah. we're doing a movie review, and it is of the 2000 drama romance film. Holy shit! Uh, yes. Kandukandayan, <laughs> Kandukadayan. Yeah. Uh, the Tamil film yep. uh, by Rajiv Menon, uh, which is the uh, Indian adaption of the Jane Austen's very famous work of Sense and Sensibility, which neither of us have read. That's a big drawback. And, and I have also s partially seen uh, scenes because my wife is a massive fan of the original, uh, of the original um, Ang Lee uh, mm -hmm. film right. with um, Alan Rickman. <laughs> Yeah, so there's no frame of reference for us guys. Uh, as to... But uh, uh, starring just uh, one or two people. Yeah. Uh, Arjith Kumar, our first Arjith Kumar film. Yes. Uh, Tabu, Mamuti, Ashwarya Rai Bakchan, and Abbas are your th uh, five yeah. main leads in this film. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> along with... <laughs> I find it funny that the the poster has A.R. Rahman as the uh, I know. the, the se I mean, center I, biggest face. Our, our Nanbar uh, A.R. Rahman is the composer of this film, and we reacted to most of the songs. I do believe. I, yeah, watching it, I thought, <clears throat> "Yep, seen that. Yep, seen that. Yep, seen that. Yep, seen that." Can you give you a kiss? Yes. Of course. Here, always. Yes. Give Daddy a kiss. You are always more Hi. important. Mwah. Always. Thank you so much. Better? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you pay him to do that? In love. Only in love. Yeah, no, I think it's in cocaine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, obviously this will be a 100% spoiler review because um, it came out in 2000. Uh, if you haven't watched it, we saw it on... YouTube. Yeah, you could, uh, and there's multiple different versions as well uh, in terms of like where you can get it. Uh, we had to rent it from YouTube, but you can get it on Amazon and other platforms as well. Uh, maybe, obviously, somewhere different in India. Yeah. Um, but uh, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. So uh, I've whittled down real clearly. Whittled. Whittled. Show me how you whittle. I don't think it's whittling. That's whittling. Okay. Uh, I've whittled down and made it really simple about how I would rate a movie. And we've often, you know, said A, B, C, and D, mm -hmm. it's things of that nature. So um, uh, if it's an A, I loved it, want to see it over and over again, and I want to take people to see it. Yeah. If it's a B, I loved it, would love to see it with other people, mm. but doesn't matter if I do. Yeah. If it's a C, I liked it, wouldn't watch it again. Mm. If it's a D, I didn't like it. I understand if some people like it. Mm. If it's an F, I didn't like it, and I don't know why you like it. Mm. Make sense? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So for me, this one's kind of a C plus uh -huh. in that I, I liked it. Yeah. I don't know that I'd watch it again. Mm. But if someone was watching it and said, hey, you want to watch this with me? I, I'd, I'd mm. watch it with them, but I wouldn't go out of my way to watch it again. Gotcha. And the main thing for me was the biggest takeaway was any time uh, – my favorite three, which are our two ladies and Mamudi, when yeah. they were on screen, I was I was loving every minute of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and that, obviously, that's the, the I mean the 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 story, oh, and the songs and music obviously. are off the charts. Uh, the, so good. The the main part of Sense and Sensibility is about the sisters. Which um, did she watch it with you, your wife? 
I've seen her watch that film many times. It's one of no her. this one. She was with me while I was yeah. She that. watched this with yeah, you. yeah yeah yeah. Okay, um, so her take would be really important in terms yes, of yes yes. Uh, she she enjoyed this film. And uh, how was it in terms of yeah? It was in terms of how it it indiefied it. Mm -hmm. um, it it stuck to the story pretty well. Okay good. Um, she she said nobody lives up to uh, what Alan Rickman can do. No, but as far <laughs> as it coming from that story, yeah, she said. But they obviously it it. Because it fits as well in terms of the reason I think this film worked for me, even though obviously there were parts that were kind of dated and, and that kind of stuff. And sure. Kind of like 2000s ish. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they modern, because obviously that, that Sense and Sensibility, the, uh, the Ang Lee one, which is her favorite. Um, was a period film, mm. which is obviously, uh, if you ask any like girl in America, they love like sensibility or uh, what's the other like big romance period um, piece, Pride and Prejudice, Pride and Prejudice style of films. Yep, and it's usually in a a a, um, a period, right? Right. Uh, but it kind of fits with Indian society as well, with the arranged marriages sure. and the what happens if the husband dies right. in, in your societies. Yeah. It, it's, so they're kind of similar in that aspect. They did make this a more modern times film. Yeah. Uh, which my wife, when it started, she was like, I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I thought they they didn't make it a period, even though they made the the songs, which was really interesting, flashbacks. Well, not flashbacks, but like they put them in- Stylized period. Period. Yeah. Romance. Style right. uh, uh, films. But I ended up enjoying this film. I enjoyed a lot of the performances, the end, the big romance of it all. The the I was rooting uh, for M for Mahmoudi yeah, to over the top. be loved by her. Uh, and I I knew it would happen just because I, I I know the story because my wife uh, <laughs> once again loves Alan Rickman. Yeah, uh, as one of her favorite actors ever, and Colonel Brandon, who is in the original. Uh, Ang Lee version. That's like her creme de la creme version of Alan of, Rickman. Of it. <laughs> so, in other words, that's the version I need to watch. <laughs> well, it also helps. Like, if you have no frame of reference for what's going on. Oh, sure. It's, yeah. It's obviously going to be a lot more difficult. Uh, and I had somebody there who who did. But we'll we'll get into this. Uh, let's start with our main two uh, leads of the film is uh, Tabu and Ashwarya, who I think are the the movie, right? Um, yeah. And their relationship was was really pretty and beautiful in their performances. And I, w I will say the audio, even though I, the YouTube version was better than the Amazon version, but they both weren't up to what they should have been. Like you could, yeah. I don't know if it happened for you. Like you could tell it was like a a bad dubbing. We've watched worse. Yes, but yeah, yeah. and dubbing. We always have to give it a pass because we know we're going to get it. But we've said this a hundred times. We'll say it a hundred times more. There's a million reasons dubbing is awful. And the reason it's awful from the acting standpoint is that you're not getting the honest moment. It's being replicated. And anytime someone in the dubbing booth is trying to make their voice sound like what they see, they're not genuinely feeling the emotion that's being expressed in that moment, which is what's believable in an actor. What they're doing is trying to make it sound believable, and it never yeah. works. Um, it just never, it never works. And yeah, sometimes it. But didn't like the audio wasn't work. Uh, the best at times. Yeah. Um, but obviously, Ashwarya and Taboo are just beautiful actresses. Yeah. I, in my notes, I don't even need to look at it. I wrote down. There should. I don't know. They may have to pass a law or something as to whether or not it's legally okay to put both of those women in one close-up frame. <laughs> I mean, there was one close-up shot of both of them in the doorway, and it just, it, I, I literally, I haven't been as aghast with the beauty of someone on screen as I was since last time we had seen Reka and something, and this was double that. It was it was just, I don't know where to look. I don't know which yeah. of these two ladies do I should be watching. They're so captivating. Yeah, they, yeah, they are. <laughs> incredible. And uh, obviously, um, and, and it's not a shock. I 100% believed both of them. Yeah. And their characters were very true to what the originals were. My wife said they're actually even, like, Ashwari's character is even more obnoxious mm. in um, the original. Mm. And she's, like, really, like, mean to um, Mahmoodi's character. Mm. Um, even more so, obviously, like, in this one. I didn't, I honestly didn't feel like she was that mean to him. Obviously, she, she was she, frustrated. Yeah, she was frustrated, but, like, yeah. apparently, like, in the original, like, she's, like, like really rude to it, him. Because there's, like, 20-year 20 age, 20 age difference. Right. Is what it's yeah. supposed to be. Um, 
but I, I thought they did a, a really, really, really good job. And I, I they, they were, they were my favorite performances in yeah. the entire thing. Even though I enjoyed most of, um, most of their performances, um, they were the the best and yeah, for, the major standouts for, for me. For me, it was them and Emma Moody, yeah. as I had said earlier. And uh, did did um um did the original have her falling into a manhole? <laughs> <laughs> she did hurt herself in some way. In some way. Probably uh, fell off a horse. Yeah, or, something like that. Yeah. I uh, like her falling into a manhole. I was like, oh, like, yeah. like she got sucked into the earth. Got sucked into a manhole. <laughs> that's your mom's pickup line to me was the first yeah. time we met, she said, I want to get sucked into your manhole. Uh, yeah, it's, and it worked. A, it's a good Wednesday. Uh, but they, <laughs> it's a good Wednesday. Yeah, they were they were both. And I wasn't shocked that Mamudi. We've, I've been impressed with him every time we've watched him, and yeah. I just I'm a I'm becoming more and more of a big fan. Yeah, if he's in something, I feel the sense of ah, good. I'm gonna get good acting. Yes, you know. Yeah, he's he's great. Uh, I thought he did a, a a really good job. He had um, he didn't in the original. Cumberland doesn't have one leg. And he, oh, so that's a new. It's that's a, something they added. Which I they did a great job. At the time, I think what they probably had was a real amputee when they showed the leg. Yeah. I was like, hey, good yeah. for you. That's 100% believable. Um, and I liked the relationship. I, it was very – the end was great for me. I liked the ending. It was very sweet and romantic. Mm -hmm. Like both of their characters coming uh, – but especially obviously when Mamudi and Ashwarya, when she was trying to tell him she loves him and he was trying to like, – Yeah, you know, deflect. No, yeah, no. You know, I'm – um, you can get so much better than yeah. me. Um, and I thought that was a beautiful moment for both of them. Yeah. I, I liked it a lot. And um, Arjith, I thought, it was our, this is our first, we've seen a lot more of his action stuff in terms of like fight scenes. Fight scenes and, and stuff. And, and more recent stuff. This is our first thing with him. I thought he did well. Um, and there were certain times that I think, uh, the certain things that the director told him to do that was very dated mm -hmm. in terms of like what they wanted him to do at certain moments in yeah. this film. Yeah. And it happened a few times times in this film um but it's 2000s almost God, 25 years ago uh, <laughs> yeah almost that's insane <laughs> wow um, it's almost a quarter century ago uh and so like you got that but i thought he did well and i i, I liked um most of their relationship together me too uh and i i liked like even though his song was like at even though we had reacted to it like um the one on like the, the on the boat, boat. It was like jarring right at first. I was like, "What? What is? Yeah, what is right? Happening? Right?" <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh, I remember this song. I it's a good this. song. It's, yeah. a, it's a fun song." Um, and Taboo's going to come in and out. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, which makes a lot more sense now than I think it, it made when we when we originally saw it. But I thought he did a good job, and I'm I'm looking forward to seeing more of his work because mm -hmm. he doesn't seem like, even though like in the stuff we've seen, he seems more of like just like an action star. I mm -hmm. can see him that he has some acting chops in him. Yeah, and I agree with you. That he, There's been times where you watch a movie and you say, okay, I love these people, but these other people were just oh, rough to watch. Yeah. It, I was never at a place watching him where I was wishing I wasn't, you yeah. know, where I've, I've had that experience in the past. And there were many times, more often than not, where I was enjoying him. There were a couple. Yeah. It'd be interesting to know, and I think you're probably right, where it was, please do that. And he may not have really wanted to because it felt a little over the top. Yeah. But for the most part, yeah, I, I still enjoyed him and am intrigued and enough I, to want to know I, more. I enjoyed their chemistry together. Yeah, uh, me too. Him and him and Taboo, their moment at the end was really beautiful. Yeah, that was my um, favorite moment was that final yeah. Fight and proposal. The end of him, him, uh, Shwari and Mamudi and and Tabu and uh, Arjith was just. It was a beautiful moment for. It was very the. It was very typical of the Jane Austen mm -hmm. romance. So they, I think they they did justice to that because yeah. her her dialogue from what my wife says is extremely poetic mm. a lot of like what she writes is just uh, like a poem right a lot which is she said they they, they did a good job uh, a lot of times with with especially between the sisters and and the the lovers mm. the keeping the, the carrying romance, the, the romance poetic and the po element. poetry yeah um so that that was good um abbas i thought did well he was the probably the in terms of the leads the one that um i cared about the least yeah but i i don't think you were supposed to i mean he wasn't the one she ended up with i don't think you were supposed to care about him exactly Exactly. He didn't do awful. I don't think he did bad, but he just he wasn't uh, as as strong as the other performers. Agree. Um, so and then there, there were just uh, those are the three five main people yeah. that I would talk about. But I will talk about uh, our non bar A.R. Mm. Rahman, who made a cameo. Uh, he sure <laughs> did. See that with the baby face the with the long hair. hair. No, which is great. Gets, this is one of his strongest. Uh, 
compositions. I agree in man. every way, songs and score, man. It was it was I mean, gorgeous. That, it was like I said, we've seen most of them, but they were just as good, if not better, in obviously the the context of the film. Yep. Uh, like the the beginning song with Ashwarya, where I think she's Argus character in the looks wa- at in, in the water, or no, when Argus character looks at Taboo, and she says these eyes, something about the eyes, the. The hidden eyes or something like that. Mm. Come I'm trying down to remember. In. They were like in a ballroom, kind of. She was wearing green. No, okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember the lyric. I liked that song a lot. The one in the water was great. Yeah, uh, there wasn't a bad song. No, it was. This is. Was. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it'd be extremely difficult to put like Aramon's top ten albums. I think. Well, and equally impressive is sometimes you get films where the songs themselves are are just fantastic, but the score is kind of lackluster. Mm-hmm. The score was as good as the songs. Yeah. There were moments when the score was going on, and I I, I was just enamored at how beautiful it was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's elements that I think like the didn't weren't as strong for me as I think they probably were maybe in the original was like when they lost the house. Right. And it was the, the family, the, house. family, the auntie and uncle that get the house because right. of whatever. Um, it that like it wasn't as like it didn't feel like as important mm-hmm. as I think it in the original probably, is. It probably was. Agree. It, and it happened in the original. They lost the house and they um, that's why they because it's women at that time they had to get status via their husbands and and all that kind of stuff yeah um and so they i, I saw what they were they would they were doing um it just did i don't think that part didn't work for me as well um, yeah I, I do and so i think it has to do with this happens a lot of the time sometimes things happen so quickly that you very rarely get to understand the importance of them because you don't get to sit with them for a while mm-hmm and you just suddenly discover, oh, there's this, oh, there's that, oh, there's that. I don't know if that's the reason, but I, I absolutely agree with you. Yeah. It didn't carry the weight with it that I, yeah, think it ought to. Yeah, uh, I agree with you. Uh, and the cinematography, by the way, there were a couple of really nice. It was a great green screen shot. Oh, <laughs> it was so bad. I was, a, was like, I don't even think. That, and I said right, like it was like a. 10 second thing because of celebrate like yeah they were trying to emphasize that there was a giant celebration uh, festival or something yeah. going on and it's just awful green screen work it's really bad um and Which it was like t- ten, it was like 10 or 15 seconds and i was like i don't think you needed that no <laughs> and time is not kind to old school green screen no it's not you look at you look at the old star wars films and you see that over time it just gets worse and worse and yeah. worse and worse uh, uh but you were saying about cinematography yeah right? there were some really nice instances there was one instance where the girls are talking to each other and the, the pov is over their shoulder while they're here but it's framed in such a way that in the mirror you can see taboo yeah and the camera's obviously not revealed and that's an easy thing to miss and i I probably missed a lot of them because I think there were a lot of moments like that where the cinematography was incredibly good, but it was really understated so as to not overshadow the performances and the personal. That's the other thing I I like about the movie is that it it very much stayed connected to the people's stories throughout. And with the runtime that it has, it it felt like they trimmed the fat. It didn't feel long. Um, And yeah, a lot of that has to do with the, uh, I think those performances uh, and probably the original context it's just a a good story yeah, of, of a love story right um so that's that's it's, it's the most important yeah story it's one of the most important parts of, of filmmaking if not the most important yeah um but it's it was so wonderful to watch i mean anytime i can watch taboo and oh. ashwarya and it's so interesting because they have such different styles of beauty uh as yes we, as we've said she is like the quintessential like barbie doll miss world right yep <laughs> kind of she's beauty, a beauty right? pageant beauty uh and one of the most gorgeous women right uh, i think it's not objective like she's one of the most just if you're just like what is beautiful you probably like, look at a this is beautiful mm-hmm. right uh and i think everybody was like yeah she's yeah. beautiful she might not be your specific type but right she is i don't think it's not objective like she is beautiful yeah uh and then Ch- taboo has this more eloquent um, kind of unique. Uh, it's hard to describe the word because she is really beautiful, oh, but it's just in, in, in a, such a different way, more elegance. Yes, I, think. It, it, I don't know if elegance is the right word because obviously I don't. It's the word I always go to for her. It's the yeah. regality. She yeah. she has a queenliness 
if I were to describe the two, especially in this film, Ashwarya gives Disney princess vibes. Yeah. And and Taboo gives a, a, a queen. Yeah. For me, she always has, and and she's she backs it up with the performance. Too. She really does, and they're both. Be- there is something about Taboo, and a captivatingness to her beauty that you just can't pinpoint. It's not necessarily this. It's not necessarily this. It's just this. And it's so original and so, so unique. But again, having them both in frame was, it's just overwhelming. Yeah. They're just the two of the most beautiful women to ever grace the screen. And then obviously Mahmoudi is, uh, they did a great job. And, and so overall, I, I, I did really enjoy the film. Um, and it, it, it definitely grew on me as the, the film went on, um, which was, which is great. Obviously, I think this film could benefit from people that know the source material a lot better. Like mm. if my, unfortunately my wife can't like, we have, I have three other kids. <laughs> so, uh, and two of them are asleep, the twins, but Leland's up. Right. He wouldn't let us review a film yeah. if he was in here. Right. Um, but it would probably benefit from like, I know your kids probably know this, the, the story. Oh my God, they well. love the story. They and, would be just and like my wife. Her. Uh, as well, it'd probably benefit from people that know that story even a lot better. Yeah. Um, See because, how well they did in adapting yeah. the original material. Exactly. And yeah. what my wife said, she said they did well Good. and she enjoyed the film. So, Good. anyways, let us know what you thought about this film uh, and what should be our next uh, Tamil film for, for, for all of everybody these. in like, here. There's man. so many people in here. But uh, what should be all their next and uh, let us know down below. Yeah.